Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Stock My Closet. Today I'm sharing stitching of Dear Dress. I've shared its cutting in my previous video. If you want to check it out, I've shared the link in the description box and in the i button on the screen. So let's get started. Firstly, I'll finish the front neckline. And for that, I'm using this leftover border as yoke. And I'll cut the neckline on the paper fusing. This is a paper fusing and this is on fold. Length is equal to the body's length and this is 6 inch in width. Now I'll mark the neckline. Neck width is 3 inch. I'll take yoke width 5 inch. You can change it as per your choice. Neck depth is 7 inch. I'll add half inch for seam allowance. Again, mark neck width 3 inch and join these points. At the bottom, again, I'll mark a point at 5 inch. Join these points as well. Now I'll draw the neckline. You can make any desired neckline shape. I'm making round with small V. So for that, I'll just mark a point at 5.5 inch. Draw round neckline shape. From the on pole side, mark half inch inwards and join these points. Now I'll cut it. So I've cut the paper fusing, now I'll paste it on the border fabric. So this is a border, I have two layers. Now I'll make a stitch on this line to join both pieces and then I'm going to use border till this point. So I'll just make a stitch. So I made a stitch in the center and this is how it looks. Just keep the seam open and overlock both sides. Now I'll paste the paper fusing. Just match the center. I've marked tuck on the paper fusing. And now I'll iron it. So I've pasted the paper fusing. Now I'll cut the fabric, leaving 0.25 inch of seam allowance all around. Fold the seam allowance and iron it as well. So 
So I have ironed the seam allowance on both sides. Now I'll attach it with the bodice. Take the wrong side of bodice and place the yoke like this. Match the center. Now I'll make a stitch on the neckline. I have pinned up the center from both top and the bottom. Now I'll make a stitch on the neckline along the buckram. So I have stitched the neckline, now I will trim the fabric in the neckline shape. Leave 0.25 inch of seam allowance. Now make small cuts all around the neckline. Now turn it towards the right side. Now I'll iron it. So I have ironed the yoke. Now I'll make a stitch on both sides to secure it. You can also pin it up so that you stay in place and you can make stitch easily. So I have stitched this side now similarly I'll stitch the other side. So front bodice is ready and this is how it looks. I have ironed it. To finish the back neckline, I will use bias tape. Place the bias tape on the bodies, right sides together and make a stitch. Now fold the bias tape towards the wrong side like this and make a stitch on the inner edge. Now I'll trim the excess fabric and I'll make the final fold after stitching shoulder slope. 
Now place the back and stitch the shoulder slope on both sides. So I have stitched shoulder slope on both sides and overlocked it. And I have also made a stitch on the back neckline. Now I will finish armholes using bias tape. I already have a detailed video on how to use bias tape to finish neckline and armholes. I will share the link in the description box. You can check it out from there. I have finished armholes. Now I will stitch the side fitting seam on both sides. So I have stitched side fitting seam on both sides and with this bodice is ready. Now I will finish the bottom. This is first here. I will make a stitch on this side. This is already on fold so I don't need to stitch it. And then I will overlock both top and bottom and similarly I'll prepare all the tiers. So I have overlocked it. Now I will overlock both top and the bottom side. If you want to overlock you can just make small fold and make the straight stitch. So I will just overlock it. So I finished the first tier now similarly I will finish all other tiers. Now for the last tier I will overlock it from the top but from the bottom I will finish it like this. Double fold the fabric and make a stitch to secure it. So I have finished the bottom. Now I will stitch the side seam and I will overlock it from the top.
so i have finished all the tears now i'll make a basting stitch to add gathers only on the top side of each tear now i'll make the basting stitch just select the higher stitch length on your sewing machine and make a stitch this is first tier now i'll adjust the gathers according to the body's waist and in every tier you have to adjust gathers according to the above layer like for first tier i'm adjusting it according to the body's waist for second tier you will adjust it according to the first tier bottom and so on pull the back thread and adjust the gathers I have taken 20 inch extra in every tier. You can take more if you want more gathers. So now both pieces are equal, and just match both pieces right sides together and make a stitch. all around the waist So I have attached the first tier. Now keep the seam allowance direction upwards and make a top stitch.
so I have attached the first tier now similarly I'll attach other three tiers adjust second tier according to the first tier bottom then match the right sides together like this and make a stitch as I did for the first tier so similarly I'll attach all the tiers and with this my dress is completed and this is how it looks thanks for watching guys hope you like this video if you do please give it a thumbs up and do share it with your friends and family and i'll see you soon till then take care bye bye